Okay, in this video, I'm going to do some uh, Atwood machine uh, problems. So this is going to be part two of the Atwood machines. So I don't know if I'm going to do everything, but I'll do maybe um, one or two of each kind. So I'm going to do an Atwood machine where two objects are hanging over a pulley on both on uh, each side. And we're going to try to find the acceleration and uh, the tension in the string. So in this case here, I'm going to choose, I think earlier I said we're going to choose uh, left side as A. Okay, so I'm going to put A in here. And since A is lighter, the object is going to go clockwise. And B is 60 kilograms. So the forces acting on A and B are for on A. It's going to be the weight of A, Fg of A, that's the pull of uh, Earth on it, that's gravity. And since the object is accelerating, or A is accelerating up, the tension on it has to be bigger than the force of gravity. So I make this a little bit bigger than the weight. Now, the tension on both sides of the string is the same for now, because once we do a rotation, that's going to change. So I'm going to assume that the tension on both sides is about the same length. Um, okay, but since it's B is accelerating down, the weight of B is bigger than the tension. So I'm going to call this Fg B. And then I'm going to try to find the acceleration. Now, I'm going to think of both of these objects as one. So my system will be A and B together. And the reason for that is that I don't want to deal with that tension. So if I pick both of them as one, the tension becomes an internal force. And when we write the uh, Newton's second law, uh, the, that's only, we're only concerned about the external forces acting on an object. So if I do this, if I do the sum of the forces, or external forces, that is, equals ma, the only force that's trying to make you accelerate is Fg of B. And what's holding you back is the weight of A, Fg of B. And you're trying to accelerate A and B together at the same time. Ma plus Mb times the acceleration. Now, this is going to be um, 60 times 10, which is 600. The other one is going to be 40 times 10, which is 400. A total mass of 100 times A. So if I do the math correctly here, that should be 2 meters per second per second, per second square. Now to find the tension in each string, you're going to pick one or, the t one or the other, right? So if I pick A, I'm going to pick up as, po as positive. If I pick B, I'm going to pick down as positive, right? So I I'm just going to choose A for, just for the heck of it, for no reason. So I'm going to say, um, the T, I'm, I'm writing the sum of the forces equals MA. T minus FGA equals, now my system is only A, so which means I'm only going to accelerate A, so the mass that I'm going to put here is only the mass of A times the acceleration. Now both of these objects are accelerating at the same rate, so the acceleration was found earlier, and T will be equal to 40 times 2, which is 80, plus Fg of A, which is 400, okay? And that's how you do it. If we try to do um, 34, okay, A is 85, and this is going clockwise, which means B has to be uh, heavier, right? What is the mass of block B? So we're going to do the same concept. All right. So I'm going to say the mass of B times 10. Okay. Oh, this was supposed to be A here earlier. Uh, minus 85 times 10, which is 850, equals the mass of A, which is 85, plus the mass of B. And we're given an acceleration of 2. Now we just have to do the algebra correctly here. So it's going to be 10 MB minus 850 equals 
2 times 85, which is 170, plus 2 times the mass of B. And if we manipulate this correctly, I move that 2 here, so that becomes 8, and B equals now 850 plus 170. So what is that? Uh, 920, it looks like. Uh, no, 1,020. 1,020, and we do 1,020. Uh, of divided by 8 and we should get a mass of 127 and a half uh, kilograms okay now to find the tension we do exactly what we did earlier so now I'm gonna do one where we have a they're all the same that's why I'm not gonna do all of them I'm gonna do a problem where uh, we have something sitting on a table and it is friction so I'm gonna just find Something with friction. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do number 42. 42 on page 28. And if you can do the ones that I'm going to do here, the other ones are just repeats. All right? Uh, so we're going to write the, the draw the forces acting on this. So there is definitely friction here. Okay, so I'm just, instead of writing it as FF, I'm just going to write it as F. There is definitely the weight of this object here. So I'm going to call this the weight of, uh, of I think I said we're going to select the one on the table, okay, as A. So I just want to be consistent here. So this is the weight of, this is the weight of A, okay. And this is the normal force on A. But since there is only one normal force, I'm not going to do a subscript. Now, just keep in mind that this 250 has to be changed to, uh, to kilograms to find the weight. But if you've noticed earlier when we did the two hanging, if I had the masses in grams, I could have left them. Because at the end of the day, the... Uh, it's all ratios, so I could have left everything in grams and not even find what the weight is. But you can change them to kilograms if you feel more uh, comfortable with this stuff, okay? We're changing them. So I'm going to try, so if this is going to accelerate this way, it means that this force here, this WB, has to be bigger than the tension, right? So I'm going to go with the tension up to here. And this tension is the same as that tension, which makes this friction smaller right, than the tension because the acceleration is to the right on the, on the table. Now, how do we find the acceleration? Well, same concept. I'm going to think of both of this as one. And the reason for that so is to, so I can eliminate the tension. I don't want to deal with it. Now, the acceleration is going to happen along the surface which means in my sum of the forces equals ma, that the normal force on this block here and the weight of this block will not appear, at least not directly. So the forces that are trying, so I'm going to write the sum of the external forces is ma, okay? Now what's trying to make me accelerate? Well, what's trying to make me accelerate is the weight of B. What's holding me back is the friction on the block that's sitting on the table. And I'm trying to accelerate two things here. So the mass of A and the mass of B together. And they will have the same acceleration. Now, uh, the weight of B is going to be changing that 50. Uh, changing, well, we could have left everything in grams, but I'll change it. Uh, it's going to be 0 0.05. So uh, that's going to be uh, half a Newton. Ha 0 0.05 times, uh, times you'll call it. 10 minus the force of friction. Now, force of friction, or FF, is mu times Fn, which is the same as 0.1 times. Now, the Fn is the same as the WA because this object is at rest vertically. Even though it's accelerating to the right, as far as uh, the vertical motion is concerned, it never moves up and down. So Fn 
is the same as WA. If I change this to uh, kilograms, it will be a quarter of a kilogram times 10. So that should be two and a half uh, newtons, right? So that's going to become 0.25. And the mass that I'm trying to do, since I changed everything to kilograms here, this is going to be 300, which is going to be 0.3 times A. And if you do the acceleration, we should get uh, 0.25 divided by 0.3. It should be 0.833 repeating meters per second squared. Now, how do I find the acceleration? I have two options here. I can work with the block sitting on the table, or I can work with the block that's hanging. So it's really up to you. I can, I'm just going to do it with the one that's hanging. So it's going to be WB minus the tension in the string equals the mass of B times the acceleration. Now you have to be careful here. When you try to find the tension, your masses have to be in kilograms. Because you no longer have ratios because the tension does not have mass in it. All right, so WB is going to be, uh, what did I say earlier? 0.5 minus the tension. Now the mass of this is 0 0.05 and an acceleration of 0.83 repeating and the tension will be <coughs> times 0 0.05 and you get a tension of about 0.46 newtons. Now if I decide to do it with the, the block that's sitting on the table, that should be tension minus the force of friction equals the mass of A times the acceleration. Well, the tension we already, oh, we don't have tension. But the friction is 0.25 there. This mass is 0.25 times 0.83 repeating. And if we do the math correctly here, 0 0.25 times 0 0.83 repeating, I'll put in a bunch of threes. 0 0.45 and I get uh, I'm sorry not 0 0.45 0 0.25 I get a 0 0.46 okay and so if you can do these problems you should have no issues doing the uh, the other one so when you're trying to find the tensions just to recap when you're trying to find the tension your masses have to be in kilograms okay when you're trying to do the acceleration, since it's all ratios and the tension is internal to the system, you can leave your masses in grams and you can see things canceling out. And uh, this is going to be part two of the Atwood machine uh, video. All right, see you later.